Welcome, welcome, welcome to the video today. <clears throat> and today we have the Battle of the Bastards event. Um, this event is similar to the Egg event where you have normal, hard, treacherous, and Kingslayer difficulties. And you are competing on the leaderboard for prizes. You are going for 1-1. One, one the legendary protector of the free folk. And now for this event, instead of the fixed gear, you can get legendary equipment that are random drops. So they must have added new legendary gear in the game. You could get it at first to third place in Kingslayer and first place in Treacherous. I've already done normal and hard, so we're gonna do a Treacherous mode today. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the event. Uh, the event is all about DPS, speed, 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 and also removing debuffs. You are going to face the Boltons. The Boltons have bleed, a lot of bleed. And there's also an event bleed that comes down on you. If you and uh, when you get the bleed, the only way to remove it is if you clear these boxes out. And they take two hits per time to clear it out. So... We need cleansers. Let's talk about some of the cleansers in the game that you can have. First of all, my man Tyrion, his leadership ability. When Tyrion is debuffed, he has a 25% chance to remove a debuff from his allies. When he gets bleed, he has a 25% chance to remove a debuff from everyone. So if multiple people have bleeds, this is good. At five stars, it's increased to 50%. We're gonna use him also for the stamina gain. We are going to use Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra is the queen of these events. When an enemy is defeated, she'll generate one to two random power-ups. This is so important in blowing up the board and filling up your stamina for other people. We have Allison Hightower, who was nerfed. But guess what? She is relevant. You know why? Because of her passive ability. Her passive ability, when an ally is debuffed, she has a 25% chance to remove a debuff from that ally. Now, you cannot remove the event bleeds, but you can remove the Bolton bleeds. When the Boltons do their move at you, you can remove their bleeds. So these are your cleansers. So let's talk about more cleansers. We have Samwell Tarly. Samwell Tarly. His move, 50% chance to remove a debuff from each. Wonderful, wonderful. You could get him in the purple summons. We just got a great compensation pack today. You could use it when it comes out. Blue is probably next, I think. Now, um, also, when he heals all shielded members, he has a 20% chance to remove a debuff from each ally healed. So this is huge. This is huge. Let's talk about some more cleansers. I'm going to save the best for last. The best that I think, at least, in my opinion. If you're going with the fire team, you're going to have two cleansers. You're going to have the maester who heals, which you're going to need heals, and a 75% chance to remove a debuff from each ally. If he critically heals, he will give three fire. He'll have a percentage to give three fire on each enemy. That's a great, great, great one right there. And then we got to talk about the Mender. The Mender is another fire hero. With his move, he, each ally has a 45% chance to remove one debuff. So he's going to heal and remove debuffs. You need crowd control because these bleeds stack fast and you need to control them. So the fire team, good in the egg event, good in this event too. And let's talk about... The guy that I am going to be trying that I need more silver for for Kingslayer. The God's Wood Defender. Now, if you don't know by now, the Free Folk have a great perk. It seems like they want you to play the Free Folk. Because if you have two to five members, you get a tenacity boost. Well, Mark, what is a tenacity boost? Well, I'll be happy to tell you. It is a chance to resist an incoming debuff. We don't know exactly how it scales, but it's against the attacker's hit chance. So you obviously get a boost in tenacity with the more free folk that you use. Now, why I like this guy so much is 
He has a very fast move. Very fast. He does 31% unnatural damage. Okay. Not so bad. Not so great. 84% chance to stun them for one turn. However, this is... I don't know how many stars you need to unlock it. But when the defender stuns an enemy, he heals his weakest ally for 35% attack. Upon healing an ally, he removes all bleed from all allies. He removes all bleed. And it's six star. He does this. Anytime he uses his skill. So I think he is the MVP for cleanser. I showed you the cleansers. You need attack. You need support. Let's go ahead and run this. This will be my second match in Treacherous. I didn't get it. And again, when you do these events, you have to play them often to increase your score. Because boards are RNG dependent. So we're going to go with Rhaenyra for the lead. When an enemy is defeated, two random power-ups will come on the board. I want to create cascades and fill stamina bars. That's what I want. We're going to go with a level 57 Godswood Defender. And we're going to try this out. Okay. So, we're going to go with our purple match. So, these are the boxes you have to destroy Okay, now you see these symbols, these symbols above their heads, that means that bleeds are coming. So we have to be careful, we have to be careful not to break that box yet, because we don't want, we don't want that to get hit. Okay, so now they're afflicted with bleed. They're afflicted with bleed. Three bleeds on skill attack for three turns. If we do a move with bleed, it is going to hurt very badly. So let us get some first aid. Okay. She is healed. Now the gods would defend her. Let's, uh, let's see what he could do. We got three bleeds. Let's see if he removes the bleeds. He's going to probably hurt himself because he's got bleed on him. Hmm. I kind of want to... I don't have that much blue on the board. Um... Yeah. Let's see. Let's get a little matches going on right here. Okay, so now she is filled with bleeds, and we need to do his move. Okay, bleeds are gone. Bleeds are gone. Now we are safe to use Rhaenyra's ability and create more power-ups. This board is not favorable at all. Okay, let's just make some cascades happen. Okay, and two more come on the board. Okay, Daenerys, her ability is ready, but we're going to save it because we might have we might have something coming up. So let's let's try to get Tyrion's move up. Okay. So now we could do single target attack. Let's do a single target attack on and taunt the Godswood Defender has, all right, there's three enemies left. So that means I should hit this before I go. Okay, so that's AoE right there. Okay, blew them up. That's all because of Rhaenyra's power-up gems. You need to get her to five star for that to happen. Okay, now the bleeds are back. Now this is luckily the end of the match. I probably took too long because it was a bad board. However, let us use the Godswood Defender to... Let's see if he clears out the bleed, if he stuns. Let's see. She has three bleed. And let's see what happens to him. Three bleed. Let's see, because this is going to be relevant for Kingslayer. Okay, he's stunned. The bleeds are gone. The bleeds are gone. Okay. 
Okay, bleeds are gone. We're going to mark with fire. Let's see if we can kill him off before taking a turn. I think we will. That was too slow. We're going to have to replay that level. That is the basic strategy. Okay, 60,000. That's not bad. That's better than my first time. The first time I did it, I used Allison. I don't think I had enough DPS. Damage per second. So we're going to replay that level. But this is the strategy. And if you are lucky enough to have the God Sworn Defender, he is a member of the Free Folk tribe who gained tenacity let's look at the free folk not free cities free folk okay we have lord of bones everyone has lord of bones everyone he has an aoe which is fast this is good for the beginner stages normal and hard we have the godswood defender who's going to be good for the harder ones we have orwell who has a fast speed move and he does scout so if you get it on opposite sides of the board ravenous bone connector collector is not going to be really relevant torment torment is in the pulls he has an aoe so 100 percent physical which is good so torment is definitely someone that you want to have in there and um you have one one who is the um, he is the prize like Caraxes was for the Dragon Egg event, so you're going to get him for free. Um, he has a nice power-up gem, which does 100% depose damage. So that's good. And then he also has a great leadership ability, which allows you to be stealth, your whole team stealth. If you get him to five star, the stealth is indefinite. So if you get him big, he has a max HP shield and he could take hits. Then you have Egret. She is an archer with a fast speed move. She inflicts bleed. And if they get defeated, she gains stamina. So this team is set for debuffs. And they're, they're pretty fast. So they might be interesting to use. I don't know how the tenacity works. I haven't tested it. I will do a future video. However, I believe for these teams, you need good AoEs. Daenerys, wonderful AoE. The fire team is good for this. You have cleansers. Rhaenyra, I really like her leadership ability. As you saw in the video... She was able to blow up the board, create cascades, and make stamina for people. So I think that is huge. I will be playing this more. And again, replay your levels and try to get the best score you can. You have over four days for this event as I'm recording this now. So take your time. Do it. Do it again. Get better. Level up your guys. Level up your buildings. And we just got a great compensation package so if you feel like it, go ahead and do some summons. In increase things. Ned and Sam should be out uh, right after the green summon. So I'd recommend that. I think this is the way to go. Um, I really like the way to cleanse. Make sure you have a cleanser. Everyone should have a cleanser. I went over it in the beginning of the video. I hope you guys have good luck. And I hope you guys have good rankings. And another pro tip for you. The later you enter, the better chance you have of not facing beta players in Wales. It's possible you can, but from what I've heard from people, if you enter later and you do the fights later, you might have an easier time. It is possible. I will talk to you guys later. Comment below. Let me know what you think.